Hi! If you're looking for information about Quant Network, then you are very lucky. You are on the right video. We have collected a lot of interesting information about this cryptocurrency, the history of its creation, how it works, and how millions of dollars are earned with it. Unlike other cryptocurrency projects, Quant Network doesn't want to complicate things by creating their own interoperable blockchain that connects to others. They are creating an interoperable blockchain operating system that will work on top of other blockchains. Without taking up much of your time, we will quickly and clearly tell you a lot of useful facts about the Quant Network. Also below this video, we will leave you a link to buy Quant cryptocurrency. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. Stay tuned, we are getting started. Quant Network is a blockchain technology company striving to achieve universal interoperability between blockchains using its blockchain operating system Overledger OS. Unlike other cryptocurrency projects, Quant Network is not open source, and much of the technology used in its products is proprietary, requiring licensing to use. Although Quant Network focuses more on enterprise blockchain services, it is also looking to integrate multiple cryptocurrency blockchains into its Overledger network. Quant Network's supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Binance Chain, Stellar, EOS, IOTA, and Constellation. It also supports JP Morgan's Quorum blockchain, Cordus R3 blockchain, and Hyperledger Fabric blockchain. Quant Network begins with a man named Gilbert Verdian. Like other giants who have created promise in cryptocurrency projects, Gilbert is no ordinary man. His experience and the connections he has made with institutions in both the public and private sectors are perhaps unmatched by anyone else in the crypto space. Gilbert first headed about Bitcoin in 2009, and throughout his impressive career, he has steadfastly insisted on the adoption of blockchain technology for his employers. He didn't just do it as some full-time employee. Gilbert has held prestigious positions at such companies as Ernst & Young, HSBC, BP Oil, and PricewaterhouseCoopers. If that wasn't impressive enough, his public sector experience includes work with Her Majesty's Treasury, the UK Department of Justice, the Bank of England, and even the Federal Reserve. In 2015, Gilbert helped found the ICO TC307 blockchain standard, which is now used by nearly 60 countries around the world to guide blockchain development. Around the same time, Gilbert began laying the foundation for what eventually became the Quantum Grid. In December 2017, the Quant Network was officially announced. Its mission was to solve all the blockchain problems that Gilbert saw firsthand during his time at these prestigious institutions. All of these problems are are mostly related to interoperability which Quant Network hopes to solve. Because Quant Network is a closed-source project, it does not disclose details about how its core technologies work. It is important to remember that Quant Network is not a blockchain. It is an ecosystem made up of various components, including the Overlander OS blockchain operating system, multi-chain applications, Overlander Network, Overlander Network Marketplace, Treasury, and the Quant token. Overledger OS is an operating system with the ability to interact with the blockchain. In other words, it allows those who use Overledger OS to interact with several different blockchains simultaneously. Overledger OS is supposed to be the Windows or Mac OS of the future blockchain network. While Quant Network does not give a detailed explanation of how their Overledger OS works, their FAQ page states that it is based on Google's open source Kubernetes technology. Without going into too much detail, Kubernetes allows the app to support thousands of users without being overloaded. It does this by automatically fixing any bugs with a network of nodes. Like many other programs, Overledger OS cannot be used for free. Both individuals and organizations must pay an annual license fee to use Overledger OS. This fee is fixed for individuals and varies for institutions, depending on some metrics, including the size of their company. Paying this license fee allows them to create multi-chain applications using Overledger OS. The Overlander network consists of various parties based on the Overlander OS. Overlander network allows these parties to buy and sell data and digital applications using the Overlander network marketplace. All transactions on the Overlander network marketplace are done using Treasury, a series of Ethereum-based smart contracts. 
Treasury acts as a third party for all transactions and takes a small share that goes into the quant network. Treasury also keeps the QNT tokens needed to pay the annual license fees for the Overledger OS. It then sells these tokens at the current market price at the end of the contract. Although all transactions on the quant network are made using QNT, all prices are quoted in US dollars. The number of QNT tokens required for a particular transaction is determined by an internal pricing oracle. Quant is an ERC-20 token used to pay for goods, services and licensing fees in the Quant network ecosystem. After token burning in September 2018, Quant peaked at just over 14.5 million. Quant is neither inflationary nor deflationary. Approximately 4.5 million tokens were allocated to Quant network, while the remaining 10 million tokens are on the market. Quant Network appears to have sold some of its tokens after the 2018 burn, as there are currently about 12 million quants in circulation. It is important to know that this new offering does not appear on Etherscan. However, according to a Medium post explaining the fire, Etherscan has added a note to the information tab for the QNT token reflecting its correct supply. A large number of the tokens stored in Quant Network smart contract address are those that were burned. Quant Network held an ICO for its QNT token in May 2018. At the time, QNT had only 45.5 million tokens. Just over 30% of that offering was allocated to Quant Network, and the remaining 70% was for sale during the ICO and pre-sales. QNT's ICO appears to have failed, raising only $11 million. This was significantly less than its soft capitalization of about $16 million and nearly four times less than its hard capitalization of $40 million. Given that QNT's price at the ICO was about $1.10, that equates to about 10 million tokens sold. This confirms that the number in circulation after the 2018 burn, which occurred just four months after the ICO. Quant is not offered on very many reputable exchanges. If you want to get some Quant tokens, your options are essentially limited to Bittrex, Uniswap or Bidham. Note that if you choose to use Uniswap, you may pay a decent price in gas fees to complete the transaction since it is a DAX build on Ethereum. Liquidity on these exchanges is also not very good, which means you may have to pay a surcharge if you want to buy a lot of quant. Be sure to stay away from the exchanges with the highest trading volume. Bilexy and FanBTC are known to engage in watch trading and other unscrupulous practices. Since QNT is an ERC-20 token, it can be stored in almost any cryptocurrency wallet that supports Ethereum. If you prefer to have tokens at your fingertips, the Atomic Wallet or Exodus Wallet is probably best. Both are available for mobile and desktop and contain many interesting features. If you plan to hold on to your QNT for a while, consider getting a hardware wallet like the Trezor or Ledger device. While it may be expensive, it is your best way to keep your funds safe. Never leave your cryptocurrency on an exchange. Especially especially the shady exchanges where most QNT tokens are apparently traded. Quant Network doesn't seem to have a roadmap at this point. Their old roadmap outlined in many milestones, most of which do not seem to have been achieved. This is probably due to their lackluster ICO, which probably didn't raise enough money to seriously develop the project. Fortunately, it was announced that Quant Network received an unknown amount of funding from Alpha Sigma Capital. This seems to have worked as Quant Network is finally in the beta testing phase of its various technologies. Quant Network's long-term vision is to become an Apple or Microsoft blockchain. They are not exactly like other cryptocurrency projects and probably have more in common with Silicon Valley tech giants. It's also worth noting that Quant Network's Sam Madrix finally planned to launch a token. This was revealed during an earlier interview with Quant Network SEO Gilbert Verdian. Now, however, not only does the QNT token exist, but Quant Network is playing around with the idea of offering QNT tokens in the future. Gilbert Verdian seems to be focused on leveraging his existing connections in the private and public sectors. His tweet suggests that he wants to provide Overledger OS as an interoperability solution for governments and central banks, which are currently developing their CBDCs on various blockchains. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.